hello guys welcome back to the channel my name is stephanie Munai. if you're new here and i am a lifestyle content creator based in abuja nigeria in today's video we're going to be doing a breakdown of how much i spend in a week but before we begin i would like to state that i am currently living in the nation's capital so abuja is one of the most expensive cities to live in nigeria so prices of goods and services you get for a cheaper price in other states or other parts of the country might be double or triple the price over here disclaimer this video is for fun educational and informational purposes this is not to brag or show off or anything so please do not misunderstand what this video is about also i had planned this video to be filmed a few weeks ago but because of how busy my schedule has been and my birthday preparations i had to put it on hold so a lot of the clips you'll be seeing was from that week and i also did not want to show you guys a week where it was influenced by a lot of things that was happening in my life i wanted to show you guys basically what happens like a realistic week in my life that shows my actual spending habits so yeah i do not want it to be under influenced or over influenced so yeah there you guys will be seeing a week that shows what exactly my spending habits is like and you know how i survive down here in abuja so let's start with sunday <laughs> part of the day but i had planned a lunch you no know, dinner date with a friend later that evening so we left from my house and the first cost we incurred was our boat fare which is like the uber fare that's our transportation fare from my house down to the district abuja which is the restaurant where we're having dinner and i ended up paying 1700 for our boat fare to the district restaurant now i would say we actually paid 1710 naira 75 kobo because for every transaction i make online using my banking app or the uss i think the uss charges more but they take out 10 naira and 75 kobo <laughs> so that was what i paid now for our dinner our dinner ended up costing 11,000 naira and my transportation back cost me 500 naira and that was because Lovett had booked the ride going back and it's it was like you know my way so i joined the ride and then she stopped me halfway which was like a junction where i could take public transportation back to my house so i spent 500 naira for that now i just told you guys i went out for lunch with my friend we ended up splitting the bill so divide 11,000 naira into two we ended up spending 6,500 naira each for our dinner so i got a refund of 6,500 naira from my friend the actual price i paid for my dinner was 6,500 naira now let's talk about all the money i spent on sunday so my total for sunday was 8,700 naira now moving on to monday <laughs> Now, Mondays are usually my rest day. I like to stay in. It's my favorite day of the week. I like to stay in and do nothing and just rest and relax and maybe plan the rest of my week. So on Monday, I did not plan to go anywhere. I had nowhere I wanted to go, but adulting will find you <laughs> whether or not you want it to. So I ended up having to send 3,000 Naira to the security guy in my house to go buy for for the generator. So total cost on Monday was 3,010 Naira and 75 Kobo. Remember when I said for every online transaction I do, they take out 10 Naira and 75 Kobo. So yeah, that's Monday's bill. <laughs> So on Tuesday, I had a couple of errands to run and I also had to stop by the office. So my first stop before I got to the office, my boat fare was 1,300 Naira. And from that place to my office, I ended up spending 400 Naira, another boat fare to my office. Now I decided to use public transportation back home, which cost me 550 Naira, which made my total spending on Tuesday 2,260 Naira, 75 Kobo. Wednesday, hmm. I was sitting on my own journey when MTN came with the Awahala. Apparently, I had exhausted my data subscription, so I had to buy airtime to subscribe. So I spent 4,000 Naira on airtime. <laughs> I know some of you are probably looking at me like Steph. <laughs> so you subscribe for 1,000 Naira. See, the annoying thing is this data does not even last one full month. It's very crazy. But yeah, you guys know I do YouTube. I have to upload. I have to be online. I watch, you know, a lot of videos. So 
yeah that's how much i know a lot of people spend more than that please nobody should even look at me with that eyes that eyes are going to look at me now please do not look at me like that so i spent four thousand there on data subscription anyways i had to also go grocery shopping that day because i literally had nothing in the house so i left my house with two thousand naira in my pocket which was going to cover for my transportation to and fro and i had planned going to the market to make a withdrawal for the things i wanted to buy in the market my budget was twenty thousand naira but guys i ended up withdrawing more than i had planned to withdraw and my first withdrawal was nineteen thousand three hundred after buying the things I wanted to buy, it was not enough. I had to go back to make another withdrawal of 4,100 Naira. And on my way back, I had to stop by the pharmacy to buy some drugs, which cost me 500 Naira. So I had initially planned spending only 20,000 Naira at the market grocery shopping for my house. But <sighs> this is Nigeria. <laughs> and this is Abuja. And things were expensive. And I needed all the things on my list. So I had to go make more withdrawals. And that was what I spent. Now, remember when I talked about the fact that I left the house with 2,000 Naira to cover my transportation? Guys, I exhausted that money and I had to chatter a keke and a pep to bring me home. And the money I had at home, that was what I used to pay him. So I paid 700 Naira for transportation back home. And it was when I got home, I paid him. You guys can see me in the keke and a pep looking sad because, guys, i did not expect to be spending what i had, already, I had actually spent i did not expect i was going to make extra withdrawals so yeah now i ended up spending thirty thousand six hundred naira. <laughs> hey god my budget for that day was just twenty thousand naira. Oh, just twenty thousand naira. hey so grocery shopping was what took most of the money that day and i actually left this year yeah the grocery shopping would last me maybe two or three weeks because i had bought in bulk which is actually cheaper <laughs> it's the best way to do things because imagine going every day to go pick up little little things which doesn't make it doesn't just make any sense so cost effective you buy in bulk and keep at home and of course i left this year just in case if you are trying to you know plan yourself if you are cutting your hair or making your hair every week, this, you know, cost, extra cost. If you are not going to buy in bulk, this extra cost will just, you know, fit in. So, yeah, I hope you guys understand what I'm just trying to say. So, Thursday, guys, I was still hurting from... How much I had spent the previous day. Guys, see, it didn't pay me, I will not lie. <laughs> so I decided to sit my ass at home and I told myself I was not going to spend any freaking thing that day. And that was what I did. Truth is, I actually had to film the video. So that was my schedule for the day. It kept me at home. I had filmed the water eating a day video. So there was no way I was going out. I already bought things from the market the previous day. So everything I used was what I bought from the market the previous day. And I stayed at home all day. I did not spend anything so total cost for that day was zero nera zero zero kobo <laughs> which is good so yeah guys that's thursday moving on to friday <laughs> On Friday, I just had to go to the office and my boat fare to the office was 1,400 Naira. And coming back home, I used public transportation and that cost me 550 Naira. I paid cash. So the total money spent on Friday was 1,950 Naira. Now, moving on to Saturday. On Saturday, I had a lot of errands to run. I had to go visit my friend who was ill. My younger brothers were also at home and I had actually planned going to the market to pick up some things. So the first thing I spent money on that day was at home. So I had dropped 1,100 Naira at home so they could buy drinking water. And my transportation fare to my friend's house cost me 1,050 Naira. And my friends dropped me at the market where I ended up buying Listerine mouthwash and some vegetables. I mean, just few things I needed to pick up at the market. And that cost me 7,000 Naira. Now, my transition back home was 800 Naira. So the total money spent on Saturday was 9,000. 950 Naira. Hey God, 
Wait, nine thousand nine hundred and fifty. <laughs> That's almost 10,000 Naira in a day, God, Stephanie. Oh. I can't believe I spent that amount of money in a day when I'm not. Now, wow, <laughs> this country is expensive. Freaking Lord. So, grand total of all the money spent this week was 3,400. And 93 Naira and 00, zero Kobo. Now, let me point out that this cumulative sum was high because I did some grocery shopping. I also went dining out, and you know, you guys saw that I, you guys can see that I eat a lot at home. It just saves me a lot of money. I'm not even going to lie, and it's healthier. You know, I can tweak things, and I do not eat every single time, I only get to eat. When i'm hungry so sometimes i skip lunch sometimes it's breakfast depends on i just eat when i'm hungry also you guys can see that i spend a lot on transportation fare and that's because i do not have a car i do not drive and i cannot also take out some of these things because they are very necessary i have to move around so, so yeah transportation i cannot cut out and i also cannot take out groceries even if i'm not buying in bulk in a week i still have some things i need to pick you guys can see on saturday i still needed to buy things for the house so yeah i also you know have to buy drinking water in order to survive i am a content creator guys i'm going to have to go to places which you guys see in my vlogs so, yeah that's for content creation and of course you know just to spoil myself a little bit the truth is you can actually spend less or more in a week like I said, this past few weeks has been a lot for me. It has been very busy and it's been a lot of spending for me, but I would not call it a realistic week in my life because the things I am spending money on are things that I could actually do without. So I couldn't use any of this. I couldn't show you guys what I was spending, you know, this week's that has just passed. So this is it. That is a look into how much I spend in a week living alone in abuja nigeria i want to say thank you so much to you guys for watching this video and to those of you that do not skip the ads you have my heart <laughs> thank you so much please subscribe if you have not and make sure to hit the like button please give this video a thumbs up it does help my channel and i post twice every week on thursdays and on sundays so if you cannot remember that just make sure to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video and then you don't have to miss any of my new uploads. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.